New at 10, a possible suspension of service. Riverside Ambulance services thousands of Poinsett County residents, but after financial struggles, their service hangs in the balance. RJ's Passmore has been in Mark Tree this afternoon, getting to the bottom of the issues and has the details. And in these rural areas like this, everyone is extremely close to failing. But failing is not an option. Robert Fox has worked with Riverside Ambulance for years. His father started this service years ago to service Mark Tree, Lepanto, Tyronza, and other rural Poinsett County communities. Riverside Ambulance is bumping into financial and funding issues, but they're not alone. Uh, rural EMS is suffering across the nation. Call volumes are just too low. Insurance reimbursements don't cover operating costs. Fox said for the past week, all the EMTs have been working without pay. Fox added this shows how much he and his team care about the residents they serve. Some Arkansas counties have conquered this issue by getting some help from the community. County, there are some counties where the taxpayer helps fund private EMS. Uh, that's not currently the situation in Poinsett County. Fox said the operating costs doesn't come from calls alone, but transport to local hospitals. He said transport numbers are low and are below three patients a day, which is nearly unsustainable. What's worst case scenario? Things continue like it's going. What what happens? Worst case scenario right now, we are looking at a possible suspension of service. If suspension of service happens here at Riverside Ambulance, not only does it affect how the fire department will respond to different medical emergencies, but also the Poinsett County Sheriff's Office. In Riverside, and it would take a longer time for them to respond, and which in turn would cause someone to, uh, it could be a life and death situation. Seconds matter in this business. Lepanto City Clerk Tamara White and her husband had a close call. Her husband suffered cardiac arrest and Riverside Ambulance was on the scene within minutes. Between Painway and Truman, he coded that they were able to perform life-sustaining care to him. White said this is the only reason her husband is still with her today. I reached out to Mark Tree Mayor Danny Johnson, who said the city is working closely with Riverside Ambulance to come up with a solution. I also called EMS Section Chief with no answer. In Mark Tree, Chase Passmore, K8 News.